Principal, Ms. Donna Abad, teachers, parents, guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to begin with a quotation by Hillary Clinton. The challenges of change are always hard. It is important that we begin to unpack those challenges that confront this nation and realize that we each have a role that requires us to change and become more responsible for shaping our own future. When I read this quotation, it gave me a realization that each and everyone in this planet has a role and responsibility for their own country. And we Filipinos should realize our duty of saving our nation, which is in a miserable status. Every citizen of our country should fight the challenges our nation is facing. Let us bear in mind that it is in our hands what our country will be in the future, and our future must begin today. Indeed, we are living in a beautiful nation which is becoming dismal. Our country has been facing many predicaments over the years. Based on the survey conducted last 2009, young teen teenagers are likely to say that drugs, alcohol, peer pressure, and violence are their top problems. While other older teenagers are more inclined to mention education, youth apathy, and pregnancy. Undeniably, depravity has ended up the morality of our country. But let us look at it with optimism. It is a perfect time for us to induce change in our society. But the big question is how? Well, I can say that having a relationship with God is the answer. This relationship will make one to change from inside and ultimately manifest on the outside. God's goodness and love will cause one to repent and change. There is a famous saying, nothing is permanent in this world except change. It might be true, but I have to disagree. Because I know that love of God is also permanent. The love of God never changes and it can change a person and his and it's life. Only if each and every one of us will know how much God loves us and allow ourselves to be changed by God, maybe we are living in a healthier world. Change must first come from within us. We should be an example of change to be an agent of change. Co-graduates, we have a call to remake our country. All of us are holding the key that can unlock the chains of poverty, the steel doors of immorality, and most importantly, the treasure chest of victory. Now, imagine co-graduates, what a sight to behold to have alumni of Academy of Jesus being used by God in making the Philippines a great nation. In my long stay in Academy of Jesus, I've been a witness of lives being changed. There is this one friend of mine who enters school with an attitude problem. The reason might be the painful and sad experiences he encountered. Yes, he is still in the process of change, but I've seen a lot of improvements in his character. And I know one certain thing which caused him to change. The personal experience he had with God. God has used Academy of Jesus to let its students feel that there is always a chance for everyone to change. As a matter of fact, I am also one of those students who experienced change. I am a totally per different person then. I would say that I am a kind of person who only cares about myself. I do not care what others think, what others feel. Furthermore, I am too shy to be in front of many people. But in my stay in this school, God has gradually changed my whole being. From a person who only cares about himself, to a person who still cares about myself, of course, but compassionate about other people. For someone who is shy to be in front of people, to someone who shares the love of God to others. 
I am one of the people who started a cell group in the school which I believe has created a big impact in the lives of my schoolmates. Truly, Academy of Jesus has done its part of not only teaching us God, but enabling us to experience the love of God. This is what makes Academy of Jesus great. The principles and ideals the school has imparted in our hearts will be our weapons in facing life. Doing everything with excellence, standing for what is right, handling situations with godly approach, and being a good and God-fearing citizens. These are the things that the Academy of Jesus has instilled in us. Now, we are, to, we are going to enter into a bigger world. Yes, there will be lots of adjustments, lots of challenges, lots of discouragements, and lots of hardships. But we must never quit. Always remember that there is no easy way in reaching success. It is the important thing we need to do is to work hard and entrust everything to the Lord, our real source of strength and wisdom. Let us all be the best in the field that we will enter. Let us aim for success not only for ourselves but for our families, our country, and most of all, for our God. I believe the knowledge, wisdom, and values we have gained will help us accomplish God's purpose in our lives. And with this, I want to thank everyone whom God has given me to be part of my life. To my teachers, Ms. Edith, Ms. Eve, Sir Al, Ms. Angie, Ms. Heidi, Ms. Floor, Sir Alan, Ms. Karen, Ms. Christy, Sir Ray, Sir Edgar, Ms. Melji. Thank you very much for sharing us your knowledge, wisdom, and experiences. I will miss the good mornings and good afternoons at the start and end of each class. And the assignments, projects, and headaches you give us almost every day. I cannot express how, how important you all are in my life. In one of the books I've read, I, I've encountered this very enlightening quotation. Teaching is the profession that makes all other professions possible. True enough, nobody in this world would even have a job if there are no teachers. I will always remember all of you because you all have a special place here in my heart. I love you. To my classmates, I never thought that we, that we will have a band about as strong as what we have right now. You are the best classmates anyone could ever have. Without you, I learned that bigger things can be done if there is unity. I'm still amazed how were we able to raise 12,000 pesos in just one week to support and send our other classmates to the integrating camp. For two, re for two reasons, I would say that that is the best camp ever. First, the presence, of, the presence of God was so strong in each and every session and the love of God was so great that we learn to value each other. Thank you for everything that we've shared. I will always value the times that we all had. The laughs that we had every time cracks a joke, even though how corny the joke was. The video time in Tom's world, 